So, there's numerous different ways you can control your Nintendo Switch. You can use the, the classic Joy-Cons that come with the Switch. Uh, you can use something like a Pro Controller, or, you know, you can even buy uh, some, some sort of off-brand versions of Pro Controllers. Uh, but today, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different to that, uh, and a little bit new. Hello, it's me, Colsey, from the future, while I'm editing this video. F uh, just before the video, I want to apologize for the quality of the microphone audio that is recorded during this video. I'm going to try and do my best to make it not sound like trash. Uh, problem is, didn't record this beautiful microphone that I have set up here. For some reason, it decided to record audio from the Oculus Rift that sat next to me on my desk. So, uh, yeah, that's the microphone that we're going to have to deal with for this video. Sorry for, for that, but I'm going to do my best to fix it and make it not sound awful or as awful. But I have fixed it for future, so there we go. Just thought I should apologize and say that that's not the normal quality of the microphone that we should expect. Anyway, on with the video. Hi guys, my name is Colsey, and today I'm going to be talking to you about an app I found, which apparently can work as a Joy-Con connected to your Switch. Now, I haven't actually tried it, so this video is going to be a bit of a discovery for both of us if it actually works. But it's in early alpha, apparently, on the App Store. For some reason, I can't get it on my phone. So I've had to borrow Sarah's phone in order to be able to do this video. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to connect it and see like exactly how good it is and if it even works. And if it's actually a viable thing for you to have for your Nintendo Switch. So I can think of a couple of good uses for this if it works. You're going to buy a new pair of Joy-Cons. They're about £60, £70 pounds for a, a set of two Joy-Cons. And uh, that's fairly expensive, especially if you're only wanting to get like a couple of extra Joy-Cons to use for like when friends or family come around to play some party games with. The idea of being able to use your phone, uh, which everyone has a smartphone, means that everyone effectively has a Joy-Con. So your friends and family can come around. It's probably not as good as using a Joy-Con or a Pro Controller or anything like that. Well, at least it's an option. At least you have the option to then be like, right, you want to play some Mario Kart? We can play like eight player Mario Kart. I've got two Joy-Cons, a Pro Controller, uh, but everyone else, you're going to have to get your phones out and connect it like that. The app is called Joy-Con Droid. Uh, it's apparently in early access and in alpha. Like I said, for some reason, I can't get it on my phone. Uh, my phone is Android 10, Sarah's is Android 9, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know. Let's just read this. Joy-Con Droid emulates right Koi, right Koi John. Koi John. Emulates right Joy-Con, left Joy-Con, and a Pro Controller. Uh, please use the user guide, blah, 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 blah. This application is not compatible with some of the following Android devices. It says Huawei. Uh, Sarah's phone is a Huawei, so let's hope that works. Uh, but it also says OnePlus, which is my phone, so I guess that's why it doesn't work. But it wouldn't even let me download it on my phone, but at least it's let me download it on Sarah's. So we will uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's go to the controller menu. Okay, I did that, right? Change grip and order. Yeah. Go to Joy-Con menu on this app and press sync button. Wait for Nintendo Switch to initiate connection. Be patient, you might need to try this a couple times. Right, we'll give this a go. Right, we're going to try it as a, a left Joy-Con. Uh, allow Joy-Con, yes. Enable Bluetooth. Good. Right, so Bluetooth should be on. Repair with Nintendo Switch. Allow access to your contacts and call history. I don't want to do that, but... Device connected to switch. Oh my god, it's right there. So now we press these. Was it really that easy? No, this is not going to work. I don't believe it. It says no controllers are connected. It actually does say no controllers are connected. Oh, it's disconnected instantly. Right, hang on. Right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. For some reason it disconnected. That was a bit weird. Right. Yes. Device connected to switch. Okay, that says it's paired. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know how that works. We'll do that later, I guess. I'm actually genuinely using... I'm using a phone to control the switch. Right. Um... I guess let's play some Pokemon. Uh, it's a simple game to test it with, I guess. I want to kind of see how this performs as a pro controller as well. I'm curious about how that works. Did that just say disconnected from Switch? 
I think that just a disconnected from Sword. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything. I'm pressing stuff in it. It's not not skipping anything. Do the thing is, I'm surprised it even initially connected. I'm genuinely surprised it initially connected. That to me is already impressive, I guess. Like they actually worked. Settings. Maybe there's a settings thing. Oh, uh, we can change the color. That's not super helpful. That's not what I wanted, really. Make it purple, shall we? Okay, who cares? Uh, revert Bluetooth configuration. Right, let's try that. All right, press these. Right. It's not purple, for starters. I, I, I... Device disconnected from Switch. Why? This is just me trying to connect a phone to the Switch. Now it's purple. Cool. I'm so amazed. I just... Let's just... It's... it's disconnected! I will be back shortly. Two hours later. Okay, well this kind of works, but now I have to use it upright? I don't understand. Like, it looks like this on the screen. Right? But it wants me to play it upright. That's the way it's showing. I don't want it that way. The problem is, is the fact that it's rotated the controller, so it's not really usable. Because it's, it's gonna think... It's gonna think that I have, like, half... I don't understand why you'd have half a Joy-Con up. And, how, and one to the side. I don't understand that. Now, let's try. This is really awkward because I'm having to hold a Joy-Con sideways and then this one this way. Right. Let's try a game where I know for a fact. I know for a fact you can do this. You can play the games with the controllers. Like the control, you have to be able to play with half a Joy-Con effectively. You log into the game, it thinks you've got the controller set this way. So the game works two player, each player has half, so it automatically rotates them. I think I, I think I know what I mean. I'm gonna try it. It disconnected. It just disconnected. I don't understand. I don't get it. Two hours later. So the only other solution possible solution I can think of is if we connect as a pro controller right now that should this should perfectly work correctly up until the point obviously it decides to screw us and disconnect okay so I'm currently I am currently now controlling it it is working like I'm able to use the sticks to control things it's working, but it's when I go into a game, I think it has issue with me. Which is a little bit annoying because that's exactly what you're going to want to do with your Joy-Con. Should we try Don't Starve? I guess. I guarantee this immediately disconnects the controller. And as soon as it does, I'm going to scream and quit. That's what's going to happen. Honestly, so far so good. It's a, I'm going to be honest, it's a little strange how this is still working. I think after this, I'm going to chase up the developer and try and have a word at least. And ask some questions, because this... I think it has potential. And if we could just get the single Joy-Cons working, that'd be fine, because... I'm actually fully playing this. Alright, so I want to pick up the flower. This is actually fully working now. It's so odd to me that this is working. After all of that and it not working, I was so sure that it just was never going to work. This is the Pro Controller, so... I mean, I don't need to show you because I'm recording the screen. But this is how the Pro Controller looks. And Sarah's phone's, you know, a fairly decent sized phone. But it's a, it's a little fiddly. I would prefer it if it was... If we could get the single Joy-Cons working, because that's where I see it being more used. Like, I would see this being used more on, like, Mario Kart. 
And yeah, you can use a Pro Controller for Mario Kart, but because of the fiddliness of the screen, and because there's no there's no actual feedback, like I'm moving the stick, but it's not the same as it's not the same as moving a stick. You know what I mean? Because there's no you get a lot of feedback by moving an actual analog stick. Whereas moving a phone stick is not quite the same. I want to see if we can get it working in Pokemon. I mean, this thing just seems to be working. So if it's working, then I don't see why it would not continue to work in a different game. But it just disconnected. It just disconnected from the Switch. That's where I'm going to end today's video. That was, it was an odd one. Like, the idea of it is really cool. I like the idea. I'm not sure Nintendo will like the idea. And I don't know how, how that's really going to affect the future development of this app. But I think it's cool. Uh, it doesn't work on my phone at the minute. I'm not entirely sure why that is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and talk to an admin or the dev or something about this. Uh, I'm still going to put this video out. And my opinion is, at the minute, it doesn't really work. But it kind of managed to work for just the, it kind of managed to work for Don't Starve but only with the Pro Controller. That was the only one I managed to get connected, and I had to connect it in kind of a funky way, so it was a bit weird. Eh, it's like it has potential. It does kind of work, but it, it needs a lot more work. But then it is early alpha, so it's like I can't be too harsh on it. It's odd. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and speak to the developer or somebody, and I'm going to try and get them to answer a few questions and understand why, one, my phone doesn't work, and see if there's any better way or something I'm missing to get this set up better. And maybe there'll be another part to this video uh, where we actually manage to get it working and useful. To confirm that the app Joy-Con Droid is successful would be to be able to play Mario Kart with a bunch of people using it. If we can all play Mario Kart using it, it's a success. We'll have the half Joy-Con, we are all playing Mario Kart, it'd be a success to me. I don't know how possible that's going to be, we will see, but that's, in my head, that's what we need. It needs to be playable for party games. Obviously, I don't know how it's going to work with, like, um, rumble features in, like, Mario Party or something like that, or the, the IR sense, like, things like that. I'm not sure we'll ever get those working on a phone. I don't know, but at least we can get it somewhere close. Anyway, that's the video for today. I've been recording and trying to figure this out for long enough. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in more Switch-related stuff, and specifically Pokemon, I made a video the other week about a, a cool little piece of uh, hardware tech, this little boy, which is uh, used for catching shinies in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description. Uh, I'll put a little, little link there where you can go check this out. Um, but there we go. Thank you, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!